Good morning everyone and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Heido and today we are at leg number five of our island walk here at the artwork of the turtle, the newly put artwork and uh, we are going to walk along the Eagle Beach and we have some subscribers, some followers here to our in the front of us and just one that just joined us as well and they are meeting each other so good morning and what's your name maria maria from aruba aruba Eindhoven. <laughs> Hairo. his aruba. name is also Hairo. <laughs> they are living in uh, eindhoven the netherlands and just magdalena. met you <laughs> what's your name magdalena magdalena from holland holland oh, also holland, holland. Holland. Oh, Poland. Yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. And we got Marlin also joining us this morning. morning. And yeah, let's just start because we got a long way to go. <laughs> so let's start uh, with the walk. We're going to walk along the beach, right? So we're going to walk along the water in a, just a bit. But right now I'm still doing part of the um, pathway that I talked about in the previous video. If you haven't seen that one, Go back and watch leg four after this one perhaps and we are covering the whole island it takes a few months maybe that we'll be able to film everything and as we walk we'll put the dates so you can join in if you are in aruba you can make sure that you join us or just come say hello we did have a family with three kids from pennsylvania and uh, the little guy is a big fan so he came to say hello to us and uh, that's very very nice also to just say hello and take some pictures etc without further ado let's start turning the camera around a little bit and checking out a little bit of the scenery and depending on when you are watching this video there are more improvements to the extended part of the eagle beach being done as you can see here on the left side so they are building some extra parking spaces and uh, this is right next to the Amsterdam Manor so maybe in the future it's ready and you can put your park here I know a lot of people ask about the parking at the Eagle Beach by the way and that is completely free and mostly at the Eagle Beach there you will have no issues getting a parking spot unless there is an event or something like that there are plenty of parking spaces uh, usually so <laughs> we got a long way to go now the plan is originally to go almost all the way to either the Manchebo or the Casa del Mar that's a little bit maybe too far for this video but we'll see we'll see what uh, how fast we can go with this walk I want to thank the folks who have joined us this morning and uh, oh let's take a let's 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 go on this uh, <laughs> yeah Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Yet another um, subscriber also. <laughs> good morning. Uh, good morning. Nice to meet you. I'm Chris, nice to meet you. Chris from? Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver, Canada. We got an international <laughs> <laughs> group this morning. <laughs> so the reason I turn here, so you guys see again, uh, I did show it in the video, but you can see how many of these um, washed up during a recent storm in this area and uh, yeah you can still see some of the effects this tree for example is a little bit part of it at least is dried up and 
let's see if <laughs> so if I may start asking um, how so you're from Aruba but how long have you been living in the Netherlands too long <laughs> Two thousand seven. Yeah. That's over fifteen years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Too long. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of us go to study there, and sometimes you well, come back, I... you don't come back. You find work, you don't find work for what you study. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we went there for study, work, and eventually we just stayed. Yeah. The, do you come back to Aruba quite often, or is it? Um, Every few years. Every few years. So this is a special trip then. Yeah, it's our anniversary. Anniversary? Oh, congratulations. Oh, that's nice. We have a very busy Eagle Beach this morning. And if you're looking for water sports, by the way, this area next to the 443 is one of those areas that you can come to. I'm going to have to pick up the pace a little bit if we want to get to more or less this part of the island. It might might not look very far but it really is. Walking on a beach at least. <laughs> this cannot walk so fast. <laughs> so folks would probably be thinking, what are all of these folks walking behind a guy with a camera? <laughs> Compared to a few, we a few weeks back, you can see that there's a definite improvement to the beaches and uh, it was all cleaned up and looking as beautiful as ever eagle beach is we are now more or less reaching the La Cabana part and there is the water sports also this one so uh, if you want to ride the jet skis or the wave runners rather this is one of those places you can do that but be careful they are fun, but they can also be dangerous, can be at least. So be careful um, when you're driving one of these to check your surrounding and not go too fast if you're not used to it. Yep, a lot of people in the water. It's quite busy. Yeah. I'm 
gonna start picking up the pace a little bit. We still have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we got little Seppi also doing the walk this morning. Pump, pump. Got traffic. <laughs> As always, don't want to get my shoes wet. when you realize in the video sometimes and you understand it also in person when the sun is shining it looks beautiful and when there's a cloud passing sometimes it kind of looks dark and a little bit dull but look how beautiful it looks when the sun comes out it's just perfect I hope you're enjoying this walk. I'm trying to not speak as much as I usually do because I know that Eagle Beach is a favorite of so many of you. <laughs> you wanna just enjoy the sights and sounds of it. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are some pretty good waves today. Those are pretty good waves. So did, did you actually travel from Poland to come to Aruba or do you live somewhere else? I live in the UK. In the UK? Yes. Okay. Okay. And how long have you been uh, watching? The channel? Yeah. Um, I think about a month or so. A month. So yeah. not too long. <laughs> that's, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. And, it's because uh, I planned traveling here, coming here about a month ago. I see. And did you, did you travel with British Airways then from the UK or yes. with another? Yeah. How yeah. uh, was the flight? Good? Yeah, it was good actually. It was a uh, stopover in Antigua. Yeah. But otherwise, it was direct flight. We didn't have to change the plane or anything. So, yeah. Oh, that's a very convenient flight that they have now. Yeah. yeah. Let's continue with the walk. <laughs> we still have to go all the way to almost the point of there. <laughs> Party Ola Basta Bon. See, like a, yeah, some pretty good waves.
I think that Wave Runner got away, and the guy's gonna try to get get to it. I saw it a moment ago. Enough. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was just at the side. If you want to join us during one of these walks, depending on the YouTube community tab, so on my uh, channel, you should be uh, putting the notification bell turned on, and then we'll be posting a few days before of our walk where we'll be starting usually of course where we stopped and the time etc we have done many of the 10 a.m most of them have been 10 a.m and maybe for the time being we'll still have the next couple of them at 10 a.m but perhaps after that a few of them later during the day so maybe 4 p.m or so maybe 5 and that's the best way we unfortunately cannot plan it very much ahead because our schedule just keeps changing it's uh, something we don't have much control over but usually we try to put them on a Saturday or on a weekend. And, but occasionally we'll have a few during the week as well. We do expect, by the way, to have one coming up in the morning this coming week. So I think probably this Wednesday so be pending of that one where we'll walk from wherever we end this morning to more or less the Aruba sign next to the Tampere Hotel some beautiful areas created by the waves. Uh -oh. That's the first. <laughs> I fell down. <laughs> Didn't want to get my shoes wet. <laughs> And the, the GoPro has such an amazing way of not letting you guys know what happened. <laughs> but I'm not afraid to say it. In all of these years, 
don't remember ever actually falling down during one of my walks. <laughs> Been close a few times, but this is the first. Good thing, good news for myself. It's on a, on a beach, very white, powdery, best place to fall on the Eco Beach. Not painful at all. <laughs> Not bad at all. And the proof of it is in my hands. I got sand. Permit me to briefly take a left a look and more or less give you an idea of where we are right now. So this is the inside road of the Eagle Beach still. And on this palm tree, you can see it on a lot of photos and Instagram posts and our posters still a thing or magazines, but in either case, you can see many of them <laughs> there. So this is the family we met. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Wave hi. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm stepping on myself. <laughs> They made, oh, this is very nice of them. Let's go with Hyro. <laughs> Thumbs up to you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, so nice. Uh-oh, I did get my shoes wet. <laughs> nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> the other folks are staying back there. And that's no problem. We'll have a chat after this walk with them. That is very, very nice. That's uh, whew. yeah. One of the reasons you just YouTube has a way of just melting your heart and meeting you all is always. Uh, such a beautiful thing to inspire not only me but also Marlene to keep making her beautiful short videos as well and as a reminder again check out her channel Travel Dutchie that is Dutchie with D-U-T C-H-I-E Just uh, really, really inspiring that while well, we often get uh, the comment that we inspire you guys to visit certain places, visit Aruba in general also, but you inspire us also to keep creating and there's no better feeling than that. see how we are doing on time so we've started just a few minutes after 10 maybe two or three minutes after we're just about half an hour so I do believe we are going to stop at the Manchebo beach not to make this walk too long and maybe make a modification to the next walk, possibly. Yeah. 
Now, what a crazy idea to walk from one end to the other of, while small, Aruba is, but it's still walking from one end to the other of a country, <laughs> of an island, and showing you all of its south shore as long as we can walk along the shore. There will be some challenges not too far ahead, among others, the port of Aruba, and then also the airport. We'll see in the next couple of walks how we'll tackle that one. Because I have folks already asking me, how are you gonna do here and there? And Well, we have a general idea of what we want to do and where we want to walk. We watch you all the time, my oh, friend. Well oh, done. Thank you so much. How's your young lady? She's good. She's back there. Marley. Thank you. Hero, <laughs> so, yeah? Yes. Marlene. <laughs> so we continue to meet more and more folks here saying hello and just beautiful beautiful feeling look at how beautiful this is by the way wow we can see still see some signs of the storm so like these like kind of bushes of old sea grass. Side, hopefully, no, large. <laughs> so I don't fall down again. <laughs> now, the end of our this walk series, at least, uh, is either going to be the baby beach or the Cerro Colorado somewhere. Um, we are still contemplating which one. Uh, most probably the baby beach and maybe extended part of it. We still have a long, long way to go. And should you be say, say coming in February, March, I know some of you have been asking that if we would still be doing the walks. I do believe and I do expect it to still be happening along, sorry, along <laughs> those months. approaching the Costa Linda Resort. Right here, so this is the first of the resorts that you could argue that are on the extended Eagle Beach or Manchevo Beach, depending on how you 
think of it. And just a tip, I've mentioned it in other videos, if you decide to travel to Aruba and are arriving during the day, most flights are, by the way, but not all of them, book a left side seat. Book a left seat and you'll probably get the chance to see this whole Eagle Beach and extended Manchebo slash DV Beach during your approach and it's just beautiful from the air very very beautiful look at that highway <laughs> This guy was riding the wave. <laughs> Pretty good, actually. As we are approaching the Manchevo Resort, which is this one coming up. Actually, this is the Bukuti, but it's just behind it. Um, you might notice that there are a little bit of extra waves, like these. This is an area that is usually known for to be a little bit like this, all around this kind of like corner back here you could uh, find the beach in this area to be a little bit maybe something something to keep in mind if it's not an issue for you then good but if you prefer calmer waters then definitely the Palm Beach is better I think this is beautiful and the beach here, look at how wide it is, both white and wide. And uh, otherwise a very nice and not too busy of a beach as well, compared to say Eagle and Palm Beach. All those things are things that you could take into consideration when you are doing your booking, your next booking to Aruba. Now, I am going to end the walk right here. We are in front of the Bukuti Antara, more or less back here. And that's where we'll start at the restaurant. We'll start the next walk. So if you plan to come and walk with us the next leg, this is where you should be. Uh, the other folks did stay quite a bit back. I had to go a little bit of a tempo, a little bit faster. Otherwise this video will be way too long. I think it's still almost 35 to 40 minutes. Hope you enjoyed it. Not gonna take much more of your time. Thanks for watching. See you in leg number six. Bye bye folks.